hey guys welcome back to my channel so it's docas here again and in today's video i will show you how i made my diy ayurvedic oil don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time i post so let's jump right into it so today i have several carrier oils and i have some essential oils as well as some herbs so today i'll be showing you two methods that i use in making the growth oil so one thing I need to point out is that you do not need to use all these oils two oils or three oils and a few herbs is enough I basically brought out all the things I have just because I want to have the benefits of all the oils the oils and the herbs will be listed in the description box below so the first method is the infusion method in this method I'm putting all the herbs in starting with amla shikakai and brahmi mix i'm putting one teaspoon of that and all these herbs these three herbs in the mix they all promote hair growth due to the um, rich source of vitamins and minerals that they contain they all have their different benefits which i've listed here the next herb i'm adding is moringa powder and you can see all its amazing benefits listed there I'm adding about half a teaspoon of that and then adding my fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek can be got in seeds or powder form but I have mine in the seeds form and these are the benefits of fenugreek as well. And finally the last but not the least herb is hibiscus which I'm adding. All these herbs are amazing because they promote hair growth and by strengthening the strands and 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 the follicles basically so once all my herbs are in the next thing i want to be doing is adding my oils so i've just basically estimated the quantity of the oils i'll be adding here i'm using the biggest spoon which is a 10 ml spoon and i'm starting with my extra virgin olive oil adding 30 ml of that you can see the benefits of this oil listed on screen next oil to be added would be my almond oil and i put a little less of that one so all these oils have their varied properties and benefits and that's why i did like a mix i mean i want all the goodness of all of them so i put them together next oil would be avocado oil this oil one amazing benefit is the fact that it helps to protect the hair from ultraviolet rays that's actually amazing and then coconut oil we know protects the hair from protein loss so another oil i'll be adding would be my jojoba oil which i had just 10 mils left of so i poured the rest of that in into this mix i need to go and make a purchase for another one the final carrier oil i'll be adding is my jamaican black castor oil this is quite a thick oil as you can see from the video so it's used mainly for sealing it doesn't necessarily penetrate like all the other oils and then i go on to add my essential oil starting with rosemary oil and then lavender oil then I add some of my tea tree oil and then a few drops of my peppermint oil so that's all the oils added all I need to do now is to cover it up and then well mix it up first and then cover it up and then put it in a dark cupboard so as you can see this looks really pretty it looks like a work of art it's really cute it looks really cute and of course the benefits are amazing as well so i'm gonna open it up um give it a little mix with a wooden spoon remember not to use a metal spoon or metal containers for these herbs 
just because they release some, I think, toxins or something, or, you know, just some chemicals when they are mixed with metal. So yeah, that's the mix all done. I realized that the oil I didn't think was enough, so I added a few more, you know, oils, some coconut oil, almond oil, olive oil, and the rest just to my mix, just to increase the quantity of the oil in it. And then that's my oil. Give it a quick mix again. A proper mix and it's good to go good to go into the cupboard so this is my the infusion method for the Ayurvedic growth oil that I have made so all I need to do now is to put it in the cupboard and let it sit for a few weeks and from time to time I need to give it a shake to ensure that the herbs are being infused so that's everything for the infusion method next method is going to be the double boiling method and in this method i'm basically putting a pot on this on the cooker and then putting another pyrex dish into the pot so in the pyrex dish i will be putting my oils directly into in this method i decided to measure out all my oils because i didn't really have the energy to do too many times i measured different quantities as you can see so i did some of them 75 mils and the rest some of them 25 mils and here we go so like i said the water needs to be boiling and then i would add the pyrex dish where i'll put the oils into so my water is boiling now and i first add my olive oil that's the first oil i put in the next oil I put in is my avocado oil. Next oil is the almond oil. Next oil is the coconut oil. And then I have my castor oil. This looks like art, so cute. And then I add my Amla Shikakai Brahmi herbs into the mix. Add some Moringa, add my fenugreek seeds. Oh no, I add my hibiscus petals ground and my fenugreek seeds. And then all I do is give it a quick mix and then I allow it to sit and simmer on low heat to ensure that the heat is low. So I leave this mix to cook and this is about 30 minutes later. All the herbs are infused into the oil and it wasn't on a direct source of heat, it was just in boiling water. So I let the oil sits overnight to cool and once it's all cooled down I strain using a cheesecloth you can use a cheesecloth I'm just using a sock so strain the oil and show that all the herbs are well sieved When you do this, please, I encourage you to use gloves. I did not use gloves and my nails did not look pretty afterwards. So squeeze this out. Squeeze out all the goodness and don't throw your, um, the remaining herbs, you know, the ones that was in the plates in the Pyrex dish. Don't throw that away because you can use that for a gloss. You can use it for a mask. It's not a waste at all. So yeah, I just pour that into my applicator bottle and then I add my essential oils so this is the method you use if you really need to use your oil immediately the infusion method takes longer the double boiling method is instant, basically. So that's everything done for this method. I just cover it and it's ready to use. So I use this for my pre-poo, before I wash my hair, 
I rub it on my scalp and my hair, you know, saturate my hair with it, or I also use it as a hot oil treatment, or I use it when I'm sealing my hair using the LCA method. So don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, comment if you're going to be doing something like this and let me know. Have a good day. Bye.